Hey, welcome to a new video. Nowadays, many people go to the gym because fitness is good for your general health. Also, working out makes your body look good. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. This is Chen Wei Ling, a three-time Olympic star who represented China in the years 2004, 2008, and 2012. At the first 2008 Beijing Olympics, she even won a gold medal. But even when she is not an Olympic champion, she breaks other records. Not only can she lift 4 point times her own weight, but her personal record, squats, is an impressive 463 pounds, or 210 kilograms. Dmitry Kaladze is a Ukrainian sportsman and champion in several powerlifting competitions and participated in the Ukraine's Got Talent in 2009. Now, I'm sure you've seen someone riding a horse where the horse has to lift your weight. But here we see that it's the other way around. Dimitro's not sitting on the horse, but he's lifting the horse. You have to be incredibly strong to do that. Although this looks a bit odd, it's quite an accomplishment. Furthermore, he can bend or twist steel bars and can lift a 152 kilogram stone with one hand. He also has other achievements, but the most special one is lifting the horse. The Wikipedia page about him claims that he has no less than 63 Guinness records to his name. Unfortunately, we couldn't find much more info about this 38-year-old Eastern European giant, but we can see that he's incredibly strong. Branch Warren is a 48-year-old American professional bodybuilder from the IFBB. During his career, he won numerous competitions, including two times the Arnold Classic in 2011 and 2012. It's said to have taken him 20 years of hard training to get the physique he has today. Branch started bodybuilding when he was 18 years old, and then participated in all kinds of different competitions. In addition to winning the Arnold Classic, he also placed second and third at the 2009 and 2010 Mr. Olympia. In 2015, he decided to stop competing. However, he's still active in the bodybuilding world, and can also be seen regularly in the gym. He also started his own business where he sells beef jerky. This is an American snack of dried meat, which many bodybuilders eat. It's low in calories and contains a lot of protein with almost no fat. Seven-year-old Iranian Arad Hosseini wants to become the youngest player in the world to be featured at the FIFA World Cup. The FIFA organization, as well as other soccer stars such as Lionel Messi, have seen Arat and were very surprised by his skills. He became a social media sensation with over 4 million Instagram followers through the workouts he does with his father. These workouts are posted on the Instagram account by the boy's father. In some of the videos, you can see how a rat dribbles with the ball and can score beautiful goals. You can clearly see from his abs and firm hands that a rat has immense strength. His father discovered that he had unusually strong hands when he was just three months old. And when he was five years old, he first signed him up for gymnastic classes. A rat is currently training with the Liverpool FC Academy, and perhaps we will see him playing soccer at Liverpool in the future. Hiba Ali is an influential name in the powerlifting world. She's known for her bodybuilding, mobility training, and powerlifting prowess, and she has the muscles to prove it. Hiba discovered weightlifting after she got tired of always finishing last in competitions. She became very popular by inspiring women and girls around the world, but also by her unique way of building muscle. Her training includes not only weightlifting, but also rock climbing and running in the desert and other places with extreme weather conditions. Our Bob Kaiser Hayat, also known as Khan Baba, is a strong man from Pakistan and weighs 436 kilograms according to his own words. He also claims to be the strongest man in the world. Khan Baba hails from the city of Mardin in northern Pakistan and has become known for his enormous physique. He also claims that during the competition in Japan, he managed to lift 5,000 kilograms. No one will ever break this record, he said. Furthermore, 25-year-old Khan Baba is said to have come from a wealthy family and abruptly began developing his body when he turned 18. He claims to consume more than 10,000 calories a day, including 36 eggs and 4 chickens, 3 kilograms of red meat, and 5 liters of milk. Despite his huge build, he says there's no health problems and he feels fine. Only, he does have a problem getting in and out of vehicles while traveling. Khan Baba, the self-proclaimed Pakistani Hulk, dreams of wrestling in the WWE one day. Romario Dos Santos Alves is now a 32-year-old bodybuilder and MMA fighter known as the Brazilian Hulk. He became famous at the age of 25 when he used stimulants to make his biceps bigger. The man was born in the state of Bahia in Brazil and was inspired when he saw some muscular guys training in the gym who had huge arms. 
They introduced him to synthol, an oily substance that makes the volume of your muscles look bigger. When he first started doing this, he couldn't stop, and his biceps at their peak were an incredible 63 centimeters. At one point, he had to go to the hospital, and there he was told that his muscles were full of stones. Fortunately, these were removed in time, and he stopped in 2013. His big ambition is still to become a bodybuilder, but Romario says he still has a long way to go. Fathers should lift their children on their backs. But for Yang Jinglong, who lives in Anhui province in China, it's the other way around. Jinglong became famous on the internet when he was only 7 years old. In fact, he can tow cars, a 2,000 pound or 900 kilogram van, and he walks around with 200 pounds or 90 kilogram bags of cement. His family first noticed his supernatural strength when he was only 9 months old, and he lifted an oil drum weighing 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. According to Yang, he owes his extraordinary strength to his great appetite. In fact, he would eat three bowls of rice or noodles a day. The average weight for a seven-year-old boy ranges from 45 to 75 pounds, or 20 to 35 kilograms. But Yang reached 110 pounds, or 50 kilograms, and still looked healthy. Yang dreams of becoming an Olympic champion weightlifter in the future. Christy Hawkins is an American bodybuilder who is talented in both bodybuilding and chemistry. She has several records to her name in the weightlifting world, including an impressive 672 pound or 305 kilogram deadlift. While she's a big star in the bodybuilding world, she's also finished her university school. This shows that with hard work and perseverance, anything is possible. At first, she might not say this guy's strong, but Dennis Rogers can do some incredible things. Namely, he can break handcuffs and tear up phone books with his bare hands. He can also lift a refrigerator with one finger, which is, of course, extremely impressive. Dennis, who was born in 1958, is known for being a real superhuman. At a young age, he could easily imitate achievements that strongmen showed on television. Dennis is also a former world champion in arm wrestling and can even curl up a frying pan without any problems. He's considered by some to be the strongest person in the world. He's also been featured in several popular television shows, such as Oprah Winfrey, Ripley's Believe It or Not, Stan Lee's Superhumans, and David Letterman's Late Night Show. So many people were also amazed that this normal-looking man could do all this without having huge muscles. Did you ever feel like your calling was somewhere else? Initially, Yolanda Hughes' grandmother pushed her towards gymnastics. She grew up around gyms at local youth centers. Although her grandmother wanted her to become a gymnast, Yolanda decided to train in the gym and eventually became a six-time Miss Olympia. The only woman on this list is England's Candice Armstrong from London. In October 2013, the 28-year-old made the news when she said she took steroids that transformed her into a man. She started working out six hours a day. As the then blonde woman was not satisfied with her appearance and wanted to have bigger arms with broader shoulders. However, due to the steroids, she began to develop facial acne, body hair, and other masculine features. Despite this, she says that her life was changed for the better. She may not be the blonde woman she once was, but because of these stimulants, she's managed to work as a drag queen. After all, this was something she had always wanted to do. Nowadays, Candace still trains three times a day in the gym. Already at the age of five, Ramadan Ondash, from Lebanon, mastered the art of Muay Thai. He is therefore nicknamed Muay Thai Kid, for good reason. Muay Thai is a martial art often called the art of eight limbs, because it involves fighting using the fists, feet, elbows, and knees. He was just a toddler when his brother, Ahmad Ondash, a Muay Thai martial artist, noticed that Ramadan was imitating his moves during his training, so he decided to teach him some moves. But what started as a joke soon turned out to be serious training. In 2016, when Ramadan was 9 years old, he won a title as the best junior Muay Thai fighter in his country. His victory opened many opportunities, and he was able to compete in the Youth Muay Thai World Championships, and among others. Kim Chazewski is an American woman who made history when she knocked off the famous champion Linda Murray who is considered the greatest female bodybuilder of all time and is an eight-time Miss Olympia. Kim won the Miss Olympia title in 1996 and defended it in 1997, 1998, and 1999. She was also the first person to win Miss International and Miss Olympia in the same year. Kevin Fast is said to be the world's strongest priest, according to several articles. 
The 58-year-old Kevin has broken a total of 19 powerlifting records in his life and still has 9 to his name. One of these includes a Globemaster III aircraft weighing a whopping 188.83 tons that he managed to pull forward. He's also pulled fire trucks and houses, which is incredibly amazing in my opinion. Many people find it bizarre that in addition to being a priest in a Canadian church, he's also one of the strongest people in the world. But for this, he did go through a tough training process, and so he trained several hours a day and has been competing at a high level for 21 years. Kevin currently lives in Coburg, a town in Canada, and is also a good person, as he gives away much of his donations and profits to local charities. This professional Swiss bodybuilder is one of the most successful athletes in the world. Jacqueline Fuchs is among the 10 best female bodybuilders in the world. In July of 2016, she took home the IFBB Chicago Pro title. And in addition, she won many other competitions. So it's not surprising that she's considered by experts as one of the best bodybuilders of all time. The 52-year-old bodybuilder named Arlindo de Souza claims to have the biggest biceps in Brazil. In 2013, he made the news when he showed off his 73-centimeter biceps, which was the result of pumping some kind of oil into his muscles. Every time he took it, he wanted more, because his muscles swelled and he didn't have to work out, according to the man himself. Arlindo was a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger and was nicknamed the Mountain in his hometown. For many local people, he's a big star, and he tells that the women even admire him. As a result of these stimulants, he's lost his friend, and since then decided to quit and manages to control himself. He does say that it's a big problem in Brazil, and that many people still secretly use different stimulants to make their muscles look bigger. The little Kazakhstani girl who lives in Russia is a wonder child, who can box extremely well. She can do as many as 100 punches per minute in rapid succession. Evnika Sadvakas was only 8 years old when she became known on the internet for her boxing skills. She came from a family that trains together, under the supervision of their father. Evnika has 6 other siblings, who all practice the same sport, except for their youngest brother, who is currently only a year and a half old. According to their father, they trained in the forest twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. He even saw Evnika's amazing talent when she was only 4 years old. She could already throw 47 punches in 30 seconds at that time. Evnika is also hardworking and eager to learn, so she keeps learning more and also learns new things faster. A daily routine for Tamara Walcott is to eat large amounts of food. At one point, she weighed 415 pounds, or 188 kilograms. In 2017, as a last-ditch effort to lose weight, she decided to start dumbbell workouts. This led to a more intense workout that earned her the nickname Queen Walcott and set a world record. Tamara's story is inspiring because she overcame obesity and an eating addiction, after which she became successful in every way. At number 6, we have the strongest woman, because besides men, women can of course also be strong and some do train very hard. Rebecca Swanson is an American powerlifter, multiple world record professional wrestler, MME fighter, and strong woman. She's considered one of the strongest women of all time and has several women's powerlifting records to her name, including highest squat, highest deadlift, and highest bench press. These are impressive results that still stand today. She's 48 years old now and began a career in 1996 with the goal of becoming a bodybuilder. If you were to meet Becca in real life, I think you would think twice before making trouble with her. She has huge muscles and is therefore without a doubt one of the strongest women in the world. Tatiana Kasharina is a Russian woman who is an 8-time European champion, 5-time world champion, and Olympic weightlifting champion. Oh, and in addition, she broke a total of 20 world records during her career. She was in the 192 pound or 87 kilogram weight class. So when you realize that, then you certainly wouldn't want to get into trouble with this woman. Greg Valentino was an American bodybuilder who became famous in 2005 through a documentary called The Men Whose Arms Exploded. He started bodybuilding when he was 13 years old. He trained naturally all his life, but eventually decided to experiment with steroids. This changed his biceps from 51 centimeters to an incredible 71 centimeters. However, there's a lot of controversy surrounding Greg's story, because many people believe the muscles were the result of synthol. The reason he quit is because one of his arms burst open as a result. Greg is known in the bodybuilding world as the most hated man, but he made a name for himself because he was entered into the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest biceps in the world. 
To this day, he's always denied using synthol. This is Giuliano Stro from Romania, a gymnast and child bodybuilder who was awarded a Guinness Book of World Records title to his name in 2009. In fact, the special achievement he achieved was for the fastest child to perform a 10-meter handstand run with a weight ball between his legs. He also performed six stunts in front of a live audience in an Italian TV show, and soon his music video was seen all over social media. The following year, Giuliano broke another world record, this time for the most push-ups while standing at a 90-degree angle. This exercise is performed at a normal push-up, but your feet should not touch the ground, and Giuliano did no less than 20. In 2011, he became even stronger and could easily do 40 consecutive 90-degree push-ups. As you can see, Giuliano is a kid who loves challenges. Sometimes he made it even harder for himself. In this photo, he does push-ups while standing on four glass bottles. This here is Julia Vins from Russia, who has a very fitting nickname, Muscle Barbie. Julia started working out at the age of 15, and she went from an insecure teenager to two-time world powerlifting champion. What began as a way to get fitter and more confident grew into the discovery that she could be feminine and a powerhouse at the same time. Marcus Ruhl, born in Darmstadt, Germany, is now a retired professional for that footage from the IFBB. He started training at the age of 18 on the recommendations of a doctor after suffering a knee injury while playing soccer. Marcus decided to train six days a week, until he decided to compete at a professional level five years later. During this time, he worked as a used car salesman. Furthermore, he grew up in a normal family and managed to become the first German in history to get the professional IFBB title of bodybuilding. Marcus managed to get several first places in other competitions, but never managed to win the Mr. Olympia despite finishing fifth and eighth a few times. He was mainly known for his huge mass and broad shoulders. For this, he trained a lot. Nowadays, he has his own supplement company, and I assume he can still be found in a gym. Meet Yuan Wu Ji, the first Korean athlete ever to win the IFBB. Her story is extraordinary from start to finish. She started bodybuilding at the tender age of 12. Not only that, but when she was 20, she was trained by Chris Cormier. He's a legend in the bodybuilding world and has more than 72 IFBB competitions to his credit. In addition to the bodybuilding competitions Yan Wu does, she's also a famous social media influencer. Nasir El Sambadi is one of the greatest professional IFBB bodybuilders in the 1990s. He was born in Stuttgart, a city in Germany, and started bodybuilding in 1983 when he was 18 years old. He first competed in the Mr. Olympia competition in 1994, where he placed seventh. Sunbody was fluent in several languages, and this earned him the nickname The Professor. During his life, he competed in 53 IFBB Pro competitions and qualified for the Mr. Olympia nine times. In 1997, he placed second, although he felt he should have won that year. He also becomes first place in 1999 at the Arnold Classic competition. Sunbody only lived to be 43 years old, and stories in the bodybuilding world went around that this was mainly due to the use of various stimulants, such as steroids. Here is another Guinness World Record holder. A girl named Varya Akulova from the Ukraine is also called the strongest girl in the world. In the year 2000, when Varya was only 8 years old, she could lift a whopping 220 pounds, or 100 kilograms. This was two times her body weight. At the age of 12, she could lift 600 pounds, or 270 kilograms. And two years later, she lifted 661 pounds, or 300 kilograms. This is more than four times her body weight. Varya's parents were circus artists, and by the time she was four years old, they had already realized that their daughter possessed superhuman strength. When she was seven years old, she began competing in weightlifting competitions, and was even stronger than her father. Because of her talent, Varya was able to work in the circus with her parents, where she did a stunt with her father and mother. Varya was able to carry both of her parents on her back, and to make it even more challenging, she also hung weights around her neck. Olga Lietschuk is a Ukrainian woman from Donsk, who twice became an Arnold Pro Strongwoman Champion, and she's also the reigning World's Strongest Woman. But she has even more accomplishments to her name. For one thing, she's good at breaking watermelons. So good, in fact, that she got the record for breaking the most watermelons in one minute with her thighs. Incredible, isn't it? Eugenios is a Greek man who does street workouts and is mainly focused on physical activities of the body. I came across a picture of him on the internet trying to hold himself up with his head. 
Unfortunately, he wasn't able to do it, but it turned out to be a cool photo. In any case, the fact that he's trying to do this is of course incredible. Eugenios, also known as Slittish Mode, likes to come up with new ideas to test his powers, and he pushes himself to make this happen. The Greek man has several titles to his name, including the FIBO Street Lifting in 2018, and five times the WSWCF, and the ISF Street Lifting titles. In addition, he competed with some other strong guys on the Greek Got Talent show. They called themselves Street Gains and made it to the finals. He has over 100,000 followers on Instagram, but if he continues to train like this, we'll surely hear more of him in the future. Irina Gladkaya from Moscow, Russia is a different type of strong than the previous woman in this list. She is a 13-time world arm wrestling champion. Irina has been the best woman in these competitions for years, and no one knows how to beat her. In the following video, she's on the beach and even takes on muscular men, and one by one, they all lose against her. Kirill Tereshin is a 26-year-old Russian bodybuilder and made headlines in November of 2019 for his football-like biceps. He left the army at the age of 21 and began chasing his dream of becoming a bodybuilder. However, he took it a little too far. With other bodybuilders, there's still some sort of proportion between the muscles and the body. But Kirill had a pretty thin body with huge biceps, which does look pretty strange. On Instagram, he's managed to get a following of more than 410,000 people. He also doesn't lie about it and openly tells he used synthol to achieve this result. Incidentally, in October 2019, he did his MME debut, which, as expected, didn't end so well. A few months later, he was taken to the hospital because his 61 centimeter biceps caused pain, fever, and symptoms of illness. Because of Ryusi Imai's martial arts skills and physique, he was nicknamed Mini Bruce Lee. This 10-year-old Japanese boy was such a big fan of the legendary actor Bruce Lee that he trained for an hour and a half every morning before going to school. After school, he ran for another hour and worked on his kicks and nunchuck skills for another two hours. You would think this little boy would get exhausted quickly, but nothing could be farther from the truth. He loves to train and he wants to become as cool as Bruce Lee. His parents starred in Bruce Lee movies when he was one year old, and at the age of four, he started imitating the actor's moves. In 2015, when he was only about five years old, he became famous on social media after imitating Bruce Lee's nunchuck moves simultaneously with the movie Game of Death in the background. Natalia Kuznetsova is a 5'6", or 1.7 meter tall woman from Russia, and weighs about 218 pounds, or 99 kilograms. She is considered the world's heaviest professional bodybuilder, and she became famous after she won her first world title. Since then, she has won world titles in arm lifting, bench press, and deadlift, as well as European titles bench press and deadlift. Another reason she became famous is because of her gigantic forearms. Mark Henry is an American powerlifter, Olympic weightlifter, strongman, and retired wrestler who was signed to the WWE. He has an awful lot of titles to his name, and for a long time was considered the strongest man in the world. Now it's said that he could have broken many records, but because he chose a career in the WWE, we'll never know what he was really capable of. He managed to lift a car, fold pans, and even managed to break a chain of the cage. After that, he was also known as the best weightlifter in the United States and competed in several Olympics where he won gold, silver, and bronze medals. If Mark had focused his entire life on strength discipline, he might have been the strongest man of all time. But I think everyone would have chosen a career and good income from wrestling. Monique Jones's father gifted her a set of weights when she was 13 years old. From that moment on, she never looked back. She became an IFBB professional and won first place at the North American Championships and the Chicago AM. Although she loves bodybuilding, she says it does make it difficult to find specific clothing. But this is something most male and as well as female bodybuilders struggle with. Valdir Sagado is a 52-year-old man from Brazil who had been nicknamed the dog in his younger years. He was bullied for being too thin and decided to go to the gym to work out. He was inspired by Arnold Schwarzenegger and wanted to become the real-life Hulk. However, this was not going to be fast enough for him, and when he heard about Synthol, he decided to use it. Since then, he's managed to transform himself into a lifelike Popeye. Through the years of stimulants, his biceps became an incredible 51 centimeters in circumference. Despite warnings from doctors, Valdir is determined to keep getting bigger. Valdir also says that he's proud of it when he walks down the street and people call him a monster. 
Andrei Kostash is known in his country as the Ukrainian Beast. You may ask, what then made this guy so beastly? He achieved a Guinness Book of World Records after breaking the national record of 4,000 consecutive push-ups within 2 hours and 29 minutes. And when he had broken the record, he didn't stop. He decided to keep going and did an additional 2,000 push-ups on top of that, bringing his personal record to 6,000. Andre was only 10 years old at the time. He started working out at the age of 5, and while other kids at his school went to play soccer and watch television, Audrey went to the gym to work out. When he was only 6 years old, he could already perform 3,000 push-ups in a row. But he wanted to push himself even harder, so he made it his mission to perfect his training techniques. Since then, he decided to become a bodybuilder and even appeared in a number of movies. Ice field hockey, soccer, basketball, or softball. Alicia Young had it all to choose from. She comes from a family of talented athletes, but she finally chose bodybuilding at the age of 15. This choice turned out to be perfect as she eventually became the strongest woman in the world. In fact, at one point, her biceps were over 17 inches or 45 centimeters, and her quads over 28 inches or 71 centimeters. Sadrunas Savikis, also called Big Z, is a power athlete and powerlifter from Lithuania and is the world's strongest man in 2009, 2010, 2012, and 2014. He won silver six times between 2002 and 2015. He also achieved the title of strongest man in Europe in 2010, 2012, and 2013. As you can hear from his achievements, he is among the strongest men in the world. He was inspired in his earlier years when he watched the Strongest Man contest in 1989 on television. He started powerlifting at the age of 17, and in his second competition, he broke all standing Lithuanian records in his country. Savikis also won the Arnold Strongman Classic eight times, where the strongmen compete. He also has several titles to his name, which are certainly impressive as well. Nowadays, he's 48 years old, and he does not manage to belong to the absolute top anymore. He competes less, but in some events, he's still the boss. Daniela Mello is an American woman who shatters all records while having a smile on her face. She held the United States bench press record as a teenager when she lifted a whopping 304 pounds or 138 kilograms. She also competed in the 2022 USAPL Powerlifting Championships. Every time she steps on the podium, you can't help but wonder what record she'll break next. Mostafa Ismail is now a 35-year-old Egyptian bodybuilder who entered the Guinness Book of World Records in 2013 for the largest biceps in the world. His biceps at their peak were an incredible 79 centimeters. Looking at this photo, I wonder how on earth he got this t-shirt on. Mostafa, who is also known as the lifelike Popeye, is said to have undergone medical testing in Japan, including a full-body MRI scan on his upper arms. According to experts, no signs of supplements would have been found. Guinness has decided to remove his record from their website despite his evidence. Mustafa himself says his biceps are real. Do you believe that his biceps are real? Let me know in the comments. Alina Popa is a female bodybuilder from Romania and reached the top in a fairly short period of time. She managed to play second twice at the Miss Olympia competition and 2018's Wings of Strength Rising Phoenix World Champion. She says it never occurred to her to compare herself to men or limit herself because of her chosen career path. CJ Center from Georgia has an excellent attitude when it comes to fitness and health. This boy, whom they call the workout kid, does not lift weights. This is because he believes that weightlifting is not for kids like him. CJ does a different kind of workout, but is certainly not inferior to other kids on this list. CJ's secret is simply to do exercises and eat very, very healthy. He is even said to have been the best in his school at American football, and he made his own workout DVDs at a young age. He even gave the DVDs away to other kids to motivate them to get off the couch. According to CJ's father, CJ has the best work ethic in the family. He doesn't even eat sweets. CJ's ultimate dream is to be able to play in the National Football League. At a very young age, when he was only 10 years old, the coaches at Georgia invited him to play for their high school. Unfortunately, we couldn't find where he is today, but let's hope he achieves his goals. Many people would have different answers as to who is the strongest woman in the world. But if you ask Guinness World Records, they will tell you Anita Florsk from Poland. 
This woman won Polish championships several times and became European champion strongest woman in the year 2000. She started out as a powerlifter before dominating the world of strong women. She also broke the barrier at 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms in powerlifting and she holds the world record for rolling five casseroles in one minute. Andreas Munzer was a very famous Austrian professional bodybuilder who was known for his extremely low body fat. The story says that he had almost 0% body fat. During his life, he competed in all kinds of different championships from 1986 until 1996. In some competitions, he even managed to get first, second, and third place. Andreas started bodybuilding at a young age, and he was a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. He tried to imitate Arnold and met his great example during the Arnold Classic sporting event in 1996, where he managed to place sixth. However, during the competition, he used a variety of stimulants, which didn't end so well. He suffered from stomach problems and was hospitalized. There it came to light that he had used too many stimulants, and because of this, he only reached the age of 31. Do you Donna Moore is a British strongwoman who won the title as World's Strongest Woman in 2016, 2017, and 2019. In addition, she also placed first in the 2016 and 2017 Arnold World Strong Woman competitions. And in 2018, she also won the Arnold Pro Strongwoman. She also has several world records to her name. Donna also once competed against YouTuber Matt Does Fitness, in which she almost beat him. Liam Hoekstra is a young boy who was known as the strongest toddler in the world. When he was only four months old, he did an iron cross. An iron cross is a skill in gymnastics in which the body hangs while you extend your arms. When he was five years old, he started walking upright on the stairs. And after six months, he could climb up and down the stairs by himself. When he was one year old, he could do chin-ups, which is meant for people who want to strengthen their muscles. And after 18 months, he could lift the furniture in his house. Ironically, when he was a child, his birth mother gave him up for adoption because he was always sick. Fortunately, he was adopted by a couple named Neil and Donna Hoekstra. Both curious and amazed at Liam's strength, they consulted doctors and discovered that Liam has muscular hypertrophy. This causes his body to rapidly develop muscle mass and inhibits body fat. Still, this has advantages for him because Liam can lie back on the couch with a bag of chips and eat fatty things while not gaining weight. Iris Kyle is the only female bodybuilder who has won the Olympia title 10 times. This makes her the most successful and also the strongest bodybuilder in history. She's also a seven-time Miss International winner, as well as the number one ranked female bodybuilder in the IFBB Pro Women's Bodybuilding Rankings. When she's not working out in the gym, she does other sports such as basketball, softball, and cross-country running. Brian Shaw is a 37-year-old American Strongman winner of 2011, 2013, 2015, and 2016. Brian is also the first man to win the Arnold Strongman Classic and the World's Strongest Man competition simultaneously in the same calendar year. He also managed to win the Arnold Strongman Classic in 2011, 2015, and 2017, while finishing second in the other years. So he's also considered by many to be the strongest man in the world. Because of his height, he decided to play basketball in his earlier years. He got really hooked on weightlifting and decided to follow this path. He's so big that he has trouble getting into cars. In fact, he's 6 foot 8 inches and weighs 200 kilograms, and is even too big for an airplane as seen here. Brian also has his own YouTube channel called Shaw Strength, where he trains with other strongmen and shows a bit of his life. Who were you most impressed with on the list? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.